This was the moment that brought change to Lebanon's relations with Syria, the assassination of Rafiq Hariri. Hariri was the self-made business tycoon who dominated Lebanese politics from the early 1990s and served twice as prime minister. He's widely credited with helping rebuild Beirut after a 15-year-long civil war. Many say his falling out with Syria over its presence in Lebanon may have led to his death in a truck bomb explosion as his convoy passed near the Beirut seafront. His assassination shocked Lebanon and the international community and rallied hundreds of thousands of Lebanese who wanted the Syrians out. Lebanese Druze political leader Walid Jumblat says that pressure made a difference. Unfortunately, the blood of Hariri led to the Syrians to leave Lebanon officially. And the Syrians did leave amid pressure and a UN resolution demanding their withdrawal. Syria pulled its 14,000 troops out, ending a 29-year deployment in Lebanon. Karim Makdisi, who teaches international relations at the American University in Beirut, says the Syrian withdrawal and the new formal diplomatic ties mark a new era. It's excellent. It's something which, uh, which both countries need at this point after many years of instability. Uh, it's something which both people need, so not only the governments themselves, but people on both sides need to have some measure of stability and normalcy in the coming years. So it's very good news. But not everyone is pleased. Lebanon's Shia militant group Hezbollah rallied its supporters and took to the streets in pro-Syrian demonstrations. Hezbollah member of parliament Nawar Sahili says even though the Syrian relationship is important, it does not dictate Lebanon's internal affairs. We are proud of this relation, but this relation stops when we begin discussing internal Lebanese problems. But political science professor Hilal Kashan of the American University of Beirut disagrees. He says while the Syrian troops may have left, Syria still interferes in Lebanon's affairs. Now, Syrian influence has not waned since the departure of the Syrian army from Lebanon. They continue to have a veto power. Nothing can happen in Lebanon unless the Syrians approve of it. They have their people, they have their supporters, uh, they, their intelligence agencies are still completely intact. They know a whole, a whole lot more about the security situation in Lebanon than the Lebanese internal security forces. Syrian troops helped end the civil war in 1990 and they kept the peace. But many Lebanese say they overstayed their welcome and what they want now is for the Syrians to stop meddling. Some think the fact that Syria is opening an embassy in Beirut may signal a new era of more equal and normal ties. Syria denies any involvement in Rafiq Hariri's killing, but many here do not believe that. And a UN investigation implicated senior Syrian officials. A special UN tribunal to try Hariri's suspected killers is scheduled to begin work next month in The Hague. Meanwhile, many still come to pay their respects to this former Lebanese prime minister. On a recent day, children from the Hariri High School in his hometown of Sidon, south of Beirut, came for a visit. Four years after his death, he's not forgotten here. Sonia Pace, VOA News, Beirut.